What's going on guys? Josh at ACI again. We just finished up the uh, the A4 that tried to fight us with wheel bearings and uh, we, we replaced the speed sensor that broke last time. We found the water pump leaking and we're doing a water pump to it. We did the water pump thermostat housing assembly, uh, a new water pump belt that's running off the ballot shaft chains. Um, remember that bolt is left hand threads so it does not come out the way you think it does. We'll also cover the uh, failure points of how they fail, the, the o-ring blowing out. We replaced the union, uh, new antifreeze. We did find the radiator leaking this time as well, so I'll be back for radiator as well. Um, the cam bridge is still seeping and leaking. We're gonna fix that. Um, but when you get down these water pumps, you have to let them idle until they hit temperature. Otherwise, the, the, the O-ring will not seat properly to the block and it can cause a failure prematurely. So make sure you let it idle until it hits temperature. Heat on high and on defrost. It's very crucial, very vital. So you take care of that, you do that, you vacuum fill the system, or you can let it run normally without vacuum filling either way. Both ways work, just let it heat up to normal temperature with the idling. Um, this is about a level two out of a five job. It's not terrible. The out is a little easier. You don't have to pull the intake off. You can leave it on, pull the boost hose, pull the throttle body, it's not as bad. Um, you'll see as how we've done this one. Um, it wasn't too terrible. Um, Puddles took care of this one for us. He got in there, he has smaller hands. He has little baby hands. He can get there and do things that I can't do. Um, he has a lot better memory than I have now. Um, he's had about 10 less concussions than I've had. So <clears throat> he got in there, took care of it for us, got it all figured out. Um, also, side note on this one, um, if you do upgrade to the um, aluminum water pumps, the bolts that are in there sometimes may be longer and or shorter. So keep an eye on that. Um, if they're not long enough, they won't get tight enough. It will cause a leak at that point. So. Keep in mind, the coolant tip sensor has two bolts that are different lengths than the other three bolts. There's five bolts for the whole number. Keep an eye on the two bolts. They make a difference. Um, Volkswagen guys, if you're doing this job on your Volkswagen, the updated part number has two longer bolts in some of them. Keep an eye on that. It makes a difference. We have an aluminum water pump here for an Audi A4, all right? As you notice, this right here is swelled and busted, okay? Remember, this is an aluminum water pump. So for all you guys that say, you buy this, you have to buy another one. Well, that's a lie. But this is replaced with aluminum water pump and it still failed because the rubber O-ring still gets oil on it and still fails. His cam bridge is still leaking. That'll be in a later video but he's leaking coolant at a very alarming rate along with radiator being busted. But this proves my point that I've said for years that the aluminum water pump is not a permanent fix-all. It does not keep the water pump from leaking. It does not keep the O-ring from busting. It does keep the plastic from cracking, yes, but the plastic's not why it leaks. The rubber swells and busts and causes the water pump to leak. This is your failure point, not the plastic housing. So. I'm going to say that to say all this. You don't have to buy the aluminum water pump. If you want to, more power to you. My advice is fix your oil leak first, then fix your coolant leak at the same time. This will alleviate the problems you have. There's no sense in buying the aluminum water pumps unless you just want it to look cool and look good. This customer chose to get the aluminum water pump again because it was a little cheaper than all the rest of the kits. But like I said, unless you do the oil leak repair, it's going to leak again because it's still going to make the O-ring swell up and bust. So, like I said, if you want to get the aluminum water pump, more power to you. But if you don't fix the oil leak, it is going to fail again. Point blank, end of story, simple as that. This one's been replaced before. It was leaking out of the wheat pole there. It's leaking all over this as well. <clears throat> but this right here was busted and leaking. And that's where it's leaking from. Which is where most all of these common 2 liter Gen 2 TSI engines leak from is right here. So, like I said, when this starts leaking, she's done. She's, she's over with. There's no coming back. Go ahead and call mama and get you a new car. 
So, like I said, guys, if you want to get the aluminum water pump, more power to you. But if you come to us for one of these repairs, we're doing Cambridge and water pump, and we're doing a plastic factory water pump. So, like I said, this is aluminum that still failed. So, it looks pretty, but there's a lot more heat in here, too. So, choice is yours, but you've been informed. If you have any questions, any concerns, need help with this job getting it done, give us a call at ACI, 833-327-8789. Go with ACI.com. Go with ACI's, all of our social media stuff. Give us a like, a share, a follow, comment. Go follow our Facebook page, Instagram page. Um, and, you know, as again, thank you for watching the video. Like I said, give us a like and a shot, a follow. And uh, enjoy. Stay warm out there. It's going to get cold soon. Some of y'all already have snow. Yay for y'all. Enjoy. Have fun.